Excellent. Uh, well, folks, as you can see, we're back. I know, I know, it's it's amazing. So, I'm not apologizing to the people who've lost a little bit of money because they were betting on whether or not I'm coming back. So, to those of you who have won, though, welcome. Now. See that? That 91% right there? That's my first file. That's my first one-player file. That that right there, that 18%, that's player that's a two-player file. We'll might we might get back to that later, but this this right here, this is our file. And it's my objective to make it 100%. So, if you didn't see last video for some weird reason, Go back and see it. It was pretty fun. On a, oh, oh, that's cool. So, th what the fish says, text box changes. That's that's great. That's really cool. Oh yeah, you can see the mausoleums kind of share. We now have a special move. Pretty sure I equipped it. Huh. Okay, we can't go that way. All right, time to go to the garden. Botanic panic. I don't need to write the uh, the weird title names for this. The game does it itself. It's just getting more bizarre. And it's going to continue to get more bizarre. I am facing off against a giant potato. <laughs> Alright. Okay, why didn't that do the parry? Okay. Okay, that didn't do it either. Alright, well. Well, the boomerang weapon's working. that all right we're doing ah darn it can't seem to get this to parry move to work let's see if it's in controls okay move horizontal move right move left move vertical move up move down jump shoot switch weapons lock dash okay It's a bit. Uh. Where's Perry? Like, this is like a key mechanic. Not knowing how to parry in this game is a lot worse than not knowing how to parry in Street in Street Fighter. It, it in like in some of the fighting games back in the nineties. Yeah, yeah. You could maybe get away with not knowing how to parry with those games. And early on, like, if I really wanted to, I could probably try and defeat the boss without parry, but that's... I'm not sure if that's going to work. And we'll, we'll try it. Oh, boy. Butter smashed and mashed. It's over for you. All right. We're going to need to fix this problem. Okay, so it turns out the parry button is actually the same as the jump button. You just have to double tap it. So it, it, it's it's very interesting. I just wish they would have put, you know... Jump slash parry. I mean, there you go. See? <sighs> okay. Mr. Onion, you scare the world. Where? Crawl out, nobody loves it, and then it gets killed. It goes back into the ground once it came. And now we have a giant psychic carrot. Uh, lean, mean, and 
full of beta carotene. Uh, damn it. Oh, looks like got a couple good parries going. Yeah, I couldn't get the third one. But, uh, alright. Three hit points. Doing good, doing good. Here comes the scaredy onion. Okay. Start dodging. Just a little more special on it. I could try and parry those raindrops, but that's actually a little bit more hard than you might think. Alright, so now, back to Mr. Carrot over here. Alright. Where the heck is my special? Did I equip it? I'm not sure if I did, but... Eh. Okay, we'll just use a weapon and try our best. Alright. Well, we have taken down the carrot and let's see the results I made par had all my hit points didn't get one of the parries hey awesome I think we could probably do an A plus but let's do that a little bit later let's come back for now we should start progressing the game and, and trying to you know get through the first zone before we try anything too crazy All right, hey, there's a new location to go. And just to remind you that, yes, the devil not only has an office, but remember, did ask us to get all the soul contracts. Monkey's uncle. Devil controls the banks. Never get a hold of my gold. The Wait, wait. The reason why this this guy, this living coin, spread all the coins all over the, all over the world is, you know, after we pick up all the coins, I wonder what happens if we come back to the coin, dude. We'll do that later on after we've we've gotten through a good majority of the game. So, here we are. The next fight's going to be against two frogs with boxing gloves. And the There's two frogs with boxing gloves, and the entire audience is made of flies. It's like mice watching a cat fight. It, it just, <laughs> uh, brain. Okay, crude and bad because we're from the wrong side of the lily pad. Well. About to make you wish you didn't cross the tracks. <laughs> Tune in next time.